Hi everyone, welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa and I am The Crafty Author and welcome to my quilting room. Today we are going to be working on something really fun. We are going to be making a springtime mug rug. I have shown you how to make mug rugs in the past and it is way past due that we make another one and so that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna just jump right in and get started. All right, so as you can see, I am working with the um, bandanas that I purchased at Michael's the other day. I showcased this on Sewing Talk Tuesday, and so now we're gonna just make something with it. And um, I thought this would be the perfect time to use these for a mug rug. I just wanna show you the many things that you can do with a bandana and um, so, and this one is really bright. Oh my goodness, is it bright. It's really pretty though. All right, so now we're gonna go and we're gonna cut these so that they are the same size that we need for our mug rug. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut myself a piece of six by eight. I have both of my um, bandana fabrics facing each other, right sides facing each other. This is just going to be a real simple way to make a mug rug. I have already cut my six inch side over here. All right, so now I have that piece and now I'm just going to grab a scrap piece of batting. Got my scrap piece of batting and I'm just going to cut that at six by eight. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my two pieces that I have right sides facing each other, my two pieces of fabric, and I am just going to lay them on top of my batting. I'm gonna clip them together. So I'm just gonna use the clips just to hold them together. All right, so now we're gonna to go to the sewing machine and we're going to sew all the way around here and we're gonna leave an opening down here on both of our pieces. All right, so I am just going to start sewing. I'm gonna start over here on this edge This is a good way to use up your bobbins and your thread that you um, aren't, don't have a lot left of. And because it doesn't matter what the color in your machine is at this point. You're just kind of using up what you have. of my mine stitched okay now you want to trim your corners so now we're ready to turn our mug rug inside out so we just want to take it you want to flip it Put 
but you don't want to do it like that. You want to actually reach in and do it right. <laughs> in between the layers there. Oh goodness, I can't believe I just did that. Okay. Well, I'm glad it happened. Now you know it happens to the best of us, right? Okay, so now we're just gonna take our little corner poker and that can be a chopstick or it can be that purple thing or it can be this thing that I have, which is a turner. I will say I used to use a chopstick a lot and I really liked my chopstick and I still do. Um, but I do find that this does really help to turn it out better. All right, so now it's done. So now what we need to do is we're gonna close this portion up, this top part. And so usually what happens if you just give this like a nice tug, it'll all kind of fall into place like that. So we're gonna quilt this first. And um, I am going to use squiggle lines and I am using an orange um, thread so that you'll be able to see it. And so we're just gonna get started. Okay, moment of truth. This is what it looks like on the front. It's what it looks like on the back. So you can see I used that really cute orange thread and I did a wiggly stitch. So that turned out cute. And then this one, I did the crisscross. Probably see it better on the back here. And that's what's holding those layers together. So that is how you make a simple two fabric mug rug. So if you're in need of a quick gift or something, find some cute fabric, make a mug rug, roll it up and stick it in a coffee mug. 
that is it for me today. If you'd like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to click that bell. You'll get notified each and every time that I upload an awesomely cool new video. And I upload on Tuesdays and Fridays. And keep on crafting. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.